All right, I wanted to go over something that's going to help you out with the EQ section of the Android app. There's two ways to get to it. You can, of course, click on the EQ letters in the channel strip, and it will take you directly to the EQ page. Or you can click on the scribble strip of the channel, and it will take you to an overview of the entire channel strip. And then from there, you can click on the EQ letters to get into the EQ section. Now, something that really bothered me when I was working offline is this is the way that the EQ defaults with all five filters set as low cut filters or high pass filters, same thing. And so I would go through and select a filter, come over here to the type of filter that it is and select it to a, a high shelf for this one. And then come down here and select and make it a parametric EQ and so on and redo manually all of these uh, not realizing that up here in the upper right corner, third arrow from the right, is a reset function. So you're going to want to hit that. And so this is the way you would expect it, where you've got a low cut filter, your high shelf as default, and then your uh, three parametrics. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, I think the first thing you're going to want to do on all of your channels is just hit the EQ reset button. I have no idea why it doesn't default that way. But um, just hit reset. You'll be up and running with a logical starting point. All right. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, let us know on our YouTube channel or come to our Facebook user group, Behringer X Air.